Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly, and uh, I want to come with another little Lightroom tip for you. This one actually comes from a question, and the question was um, about how to sync your photos in Lightroom if you didn't do it uh, while you're out in the field. So for example, if you were shooting with one camera and you had a second photographer shooting with another, or maybe even a third photographer, but you didn't actually sync the clocks on the camera, then how would you get those photos to come into Lightroom and be nice and organized? Now I've seen some people do it manually, which can be exhausting. Uh, so I'm going to show you a really easy, quick tip and trick that will allow you to do it in Lightroom uh, so you don't have to do it manually. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the library module, okay? And in the library module, we're going to make sure the filter bar is showing. The filter bar should show up right across the top here. Now the easy way to get there is just hit the backslash key, and you'll see it will pop up. If you want to go find it in the menu, you can come right over here to View and hit Show Filter Bar, and it'll, you can get it there as well. Now once that filter bar comes up, you want to hit Metadata. And under metadata, it should look something like this. It's going to have cameras selected. Now, with the cameras, um, this would work great if you were shooting with one camera and your second shooter was shooting with another. And all you could do is you could just choose and say, hey, I want to sort my photos by the Mark II or the Mark III pictures. However, um, in this situation, I actually had a third photographer with us. And the third photographer was using a Mark II as well. So I know that if I just sort by mark 2 or mark 3 that i'm going to actually get not only my photos um or excuse me not only a second shooter photos but also third shooter photos and their cameras weren't synced either so um that's not going to work so what i need to do is i need to come right up here to camera i need to go down to camera serial number now this also works if you were shooting let's say you and your second shooter were both shooting with a mark 2 or a mark 3 or you both have the same camera you can now sort by camera serial number okay so here's my camera serial number down at the bottom here's my second shooter and my third shooter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna go find a picture that is some kind of moment during the wedding. Um, I know I'm a wedding shooter, but this can be anything. Some kind of moment that's kind of like a defining moment that, that I know happened once that you know that we can both use. And I typically go for the wedding kiss. Now, if for whatever reason we both didn't get the wedding kiss, I will go maybe to the first dance where they first join hands. I'll go to the cake cutting or the bouquet or garter toss something where there's some kind of action that I can capture something in, you know, in that split second. So, um, but let's just look at the kiss for a minute and I'm going to go through and here's my first kiss photo from this wedding. And on that first kiss photo, what I want to do is I just want to pull out the menu from the side and I'm going to scroll down. This is what it's going to look like. I'm just going to scroll on down and you'll see capture time 55632. Okay. Now with that in mind, I'm going to write that down 55632. I'm now going to go click on my second shooter photos. I'm going to scroll through until I pull up her kiss photo. Again, 55632, that's what I need to remember. And I'm going to come here right, right to the kiss photo. And on her kiss photo, I want to make sure that I have it actively selected. So I've chosen that one. But then once I've actively chosen that one, I'm going to hit Control A for Select All. Uh, you can also come right up here to the Edit menu, and there it is, Select All. It should have your, your uh, keyboard shortcut right next to it. So now I have them all selected, but notice again that this one's actively selected. You notice it's a little bit wider than the rest, okay? Once I've done that, come to Metadata, go down to Edit Capture Time, and right here, hers is 520. I'm gonna change it to 556. And remember, it was mine was 32. However, I like to change my second shooters one second later. That way I know that my photo is gonna show up first in the sequence. So now, Right up here, make sure it's adjusted specified date and time. And what that does is it's gonna adjust every photo by the corresponding minutes or seconds that you, or hours that you've adjusted that one photo. So if I've moved this one up, let's say 36 minutes, it's gonna move all of them up 36 minutes, okay? I'm gonna hit change all. And again, make sure you have them all selected before you do that, because if you don't have them all selected, it's just gonna change one, okay? Um, once I've done that, now if I hit all camera serial numbers, I'm gonna close this down you'll see immediately that I can see here's my photos, boom, here's her photo. My photos, her photo. You see how it's all of a sudden now it's all synced up. Now, if you don't see it that way, it might be because you have your photos sorted by added order as opposed to by capture time. And the way you can change that is just down here in the toolbar, um, you just need to, where it says sort, hit capture time or added order. Now, if you don't see this toolbar, the shortcut is the letter T. You can see it hides it or opens it. So Hopefully that tip was useful and you can use it to be able to sync your photos, uh, whether you're shooting a wedding or a commercial event, you have a second camera, a second photographer with you. Um, I know it's a lot much or much, much easier than doing it manually. So enjoy.